Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video we're going to see what happened with this computer. It suffered an accident. It is a Dell Latitude E5470. So the accident, uh, this computer fell to the ground and after I pick it up uh, the, and I started the computer, um, it doesn't do anything. So I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive and a few other things. But I want I want you to I want to show you what happens with the with this hard drive specifically with this computer. So I'm going to turn on the computer and you're going to hear something. Do you hear those uh, clicking noises? So that's all it does after you press the start button, and then this Dell is frozen there. This Dell log is frozen. So that's all it does. So after this, I try like I waited for 20 minutes around. I run tournaments and nothing happened. So after that, I restarted the computer, I started pressing F12, and this menu, I select Diagnostics, and I press Enter. So this is something all Dell computers uh, have, whether it's a desktop or a laptop, and you can see it here. So it's going to ask us if we can see these colors to test the monitor, or in this case, the screen, and I click Yes. So you see Latitude E5470, we, we have the service stack, and more information warning the charger is not detected please attack the charger now so i is asking us that it's not connected yes this computer is charged i have done it before uh, recording this video so i have no problems with that but always uh, it's a good idea to have it connected so this is what i was waiting for the hard drive short self-test unsuccessful so that's the that annoying noise is what happens when you have an error on a dell on a desktop computer uh, so you can see the problem so as soon as you read hard drive zero you know it's a hard drive so continue testing i'm going to click yes however um we really don't need to do it but i just want to show you if this is your first time seeing the dell diagnostics process i just want you to to see what it looks like now uh this process takes around 14 minutes but of course you don't have to wait all the time i'm going to accelerate the video so you can see the end result. Uh, we see now that estimated time left is one minute. And this diagnostics is not only for Dell, you can do it in HP as well, and others like, I believe Toshiba, Lenovo, but I have worked more with HP and, and Dell. So testing complete, one more errors, one or more errors were detected. You're going to click okay, and then you don't have to click on the play button on, on, on the center, you have to press on the arrow on the bottom right because if you press the first one you're going to go through a more thorough process that's going to last around half an hour so here we have system health you have more information about the computer on the top right i mean left you have the hard drive with an x and the charger with an exclamation symbol so the hard drive as we know already has failed so this is the information we are going to need now, this computer is uh, still under warranty by Dell, which means uh, Dell is going to take care of uh, the maintenance or any problems that it, had, that it has. Now, I reach Dell, you can reach them whether, uh, you, uh, whether using email, or call them, or chat with them. So, through the uh, Dell website that we have done, many times with, uh, when uploading and uh, uh, upgrading BIOS version. So you can see that in the top right. Now, uh, I have reached Dell, as I mentioned, and a few days ago, exactly two days ago, and they sent me, after all these tests, they have sent me this uh, hard drive. They ask you whether you want a blank one or an image one. So I ask an image because all the uh, all the software, all the Windows version, which is Windows 10 Pro, is already installed in this hard drive, and, just, and I, I just have to connect it and go through the process. Okay, you have to choose blank as well, but it's not going to have anything, as you might imagine. So now I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to go I'm going to exit this process. I'm going to restart the computer, and I'm going to replay. Well, I'm going to shut down the computer. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to replace the hard drive. So here. We have uh, a lot of screws. I'm going to need a screwdriver, and I'm just going. Uh, I'm not going to proceed to take them out. Again, this video is going to be accelerated, so you don't have to wait for me to take out 
all the screws. So if this is the first time you're doing this, do it with, uh, do it slowly or at your pace, because you may break one of the locks inside. So I want you to hear how it sounds. So take it out very slowly because you don't want to break them. Otherwise the cover is not going to hold to the motherboard. Okay, here we are. So you can see the, the hard drive over there. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take it out because you just have to um, take out the screws. If this computer was not under warranty, well, we we still have to do the same process. The difference is going to be that the Dell or HP or whatever uh, manufacturer you use is not going to send your replacement. You have to buy your own hard drive and install Windows from scratch. It's, it's the only difference, uh, I would say. Okay, now I take out, the, I disconnect it from the motherboard. As you can see, a Toshiba 500 gigabytes, and it has this envelope, which we are going to remove in a few minutes. Now I'm going to open the new hard drive. Well, the, I'm going to open this bag in which it, can, it came from, in which it came. And this is uh, Western Digital, 500 gigabytes as well. And I'm going to take out the screws for this envelope. But I made a mistake here. You're not going to see that. But uh, once I take out the, all the the faulty hard drive, I'm going to install the new one in the wrong position, as you can see here. And so it took me a few minutes after I have screwed back, back again, and I had to unscrew it <laughs> and all that. So you don't have to see that. At the end, uh, I did it correctly. So always pay attention at what you're doing. Now, uh, this time is uh, in the correct position and I'm, I'm going to put the screws back. And then I'm going to connect it to the motherboard and put the cover one more time. Now, uh, as you can see here, we are going to connect it to the motherboard. Uh, it's the other way around. And there you go. So uh, very carefully, uh, this cable has to go under the plastic thing. So uh, make sure everything is, uh, the screws are attached correctly. So that way it's not loose and the computer doesn't make any sounds when you, when you are carrying it over when you're working. So as you can see, this one has uh, the connector for the new NVMe or M2 SATA connector, uh, I mean SSDs. So you see the, uh, uh, the RAM modules here, this one is eight, eight gigabytes, so you can expand it to 16. Now, lastly, we're going to put the cover back. And then I'm going to turn over the computer, I'm going to turn it on, and we're going to see the process of installing. It, it's a, uh, it do it by itself, but I just want to show you how it looks. Okay, I'm going to adjust my camera. Here's the Toshiba that failed. And now the Dell logo. This process takes around one hour and it's going to tell you in a few minutes, you're going to see that it warns you about that. But there's not much you have to do. If you're doing this for the first time, grab a cup of, a cup of coffee or start working on something else because you're going to be here a while. So. I mean, it doesn't make sense. If you're at home, play some video games, read something, but because this is going to take a while. Now, um, uh, one more time, the video is accelerated, so you don't have to wait for all the process, which is very boring. Uh, and there is a percentage that has to reach 100, and then we, we can start installing Windows. What it's doing is, um, like I mentioned before, installing all the components for this specific uh, for this specific laptop, I mean the hard drives, uh, I mean the the software, the drivers for the for the wireless, for the network, for the motherboard, for the hard drive that we have replaced, um, for the for the screen, for, for all that. So that's why it takes so long. 
now we have this screen uh, well you cannot do it you cannot do much anyway so it doesn't make a difference whether the keyboard and the mouse is not working again as i mentioned before since um, i work with dell most of the time um, this is what i have however also hp has the same almost the same features and other manufacturers like Toshiba and all that. By default, most computer, ah, one more thing. On the left, we can see that all, those are all the components that needs to be installed. It looks, looks like a lot and it is a lot, but uh, if I remember correctly, only the three first are going to be installed one by one and the rest is going to be installed in bulk. So as you can see here, after all that installation, we come to the, uh, uh, well, Windows is installed and we go to the process of uh, setting up the username and password um, then we have to create uh, we have to install the software and if you are in a domain you're going to join into a domain but you're going to see that this is only uh, the windows part that windows is installed already and we just have to configure it which is really easy to do okay la 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 like i was saying uh, most computer most manufacturers when you buy a computer or many by default come with one year warranty so in that year if something happens normally it's a uh, it's a very basic warranty they are going to replace a hard drive or perhaps the monitor or something like that when i buy computers for companies uh, or for clients i normally advise them to buy three years warranty so that way you if something happens during those three years you can buy up to five if i remember correctly but that's up to the to the company of course now that's what i wanted to share with you guys all the process of replacing the hard drive and diagnosing uh well using the diagnosing tool in uh, built in on dell laptops and and desktops as I mentioned before other manufacturers like hp also have this feature it's almost the same, a few changes here and there, but 99% the same. And it's the same process of calling them, chatting with them, emailing them to ask for a replacement. If it, if it is under warranty, of course. Um, well, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so. And don't forget to also click on the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.